Okay, so training programs and the best place to go into training programs is here, okay, with the files. Okay, so I have gym programs and I have a full body, uh, push, pull, leg and upper, lower split all put in. I've hit workouts for male, females and I have home workouts, okay. So for the gym, for the gym programs, let's go into these really quick, right. For a full body, I've given, you know, a breakdown of, you know, you just need to read the introduction here, right. Where is your level at? Are you beginner? Are you intermediate? And then it'll tell you how many days you need to train. Okay. You always get a, a beautiful picture of me uh, during prep, but this is what it looks like. You have your exercise sets, reps, rest periods, how much rest you're going to need between each set. And then to support it even more, if you say, let's say a lap pull down, I don't know how to do lap pull down, but that's okay because I put in a video here of how to do it. You just go in here, these videos, they're all about two minutes long max but watch the videos watch the videos I, ca I can't stress this enough make sure you have an understanding of why you're doing it and why you're performing that exercise these are all working sets which means you've got to put in a bit of work all right put the work in make sure these three sets that you're hitting the, the rep range with the rep range it's explained here but very simply one or two warm-up sets first and then you got to make sure say for the leg press that you're leaving one to two reps or three reps in reserve. Meaning if you are hitting 12 reps and you're like, I could have easily done under five, you're clearly not lifting enough weights. You need to hit a point where you're hitting 12 reps going, mother of God, I, there's no way I could have done another two or three more reps. That was just so hard. That's the type of intensity that you need to bring to these programs. Now, I'm not gonna go into much more detail because with my one-to-one -one clients, I break this down. We go into a lot more technical aspects of it. For this, if you're on the fat loss program or fat loss challenge, just get in, get used to going to the gym on a regular basis and get used to doing a little bit of work. If you want to up the ante, you can join the one-to-one -one program and I can go through it in with much more depth, all right? But all you need to do is look at these, read it, follow it, hit these in order to figure out how you're doing the exercise. Very simple. If you're someone who wants to do HIIT workouts or works out from home, whether you're male or female, same rules apply. You come down, okay? You look at this. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes. These are all hit workouts. They obviously get progressively harder the longer you do them. All you gotta do is click on it, and then you're gonna have from someone else. This is not me being lazy, okay? This is me finding the best videos on YouTube and saving everyone a bit of time and saying, just follow this video, okay? Um, and then same for males as well. If you're someone who likes home workouts, same principles apply, male, female, slightly different. Just go into the mail for a second, okay? Um, you go in, you have a quick read of it. You have all your exercises here, sets, reps, rest periods in between. And then you also have videos on how to perform these exercises, all right? So, as always, watch the videos. You know, with training, don't kill yourself. If you're on the program, you're on the TCM Fat Loss Challenge Nutrition, Step counts, you know, they're your apps and lifestyle factors. They're the most important thing. Training is the next layer. Don't be, oh, don't be prioritizing training over nutrition and lifestyle factors and step count. Um, use training, you know, get into it. If it's something that you do want to learn a little bit more about, contact me. As I said, you can join the one-to-one -one program if you wish. Um, but everything that you need is there for now. All right. Don't overthink about, don't overstress. Training is not what's going to cause you uh, fat loss. Yes, it's going to help maintain lean muscle mass. Um, and great if you can build it and you can follow the program correctly. But your priority is always going to be for fat loss. It's always going to be your nutrition. So calorie deficit and what way you're going to go about that. Step count, how high you're getting your step count on a regular basis and you're being consistent with it because that's energy output. And then lifestyle factors. What are you doing to make yourself uh, adhere to both nutrition and step count? To make sure that you stay in a calorie deficit and you're constantly losing weight week in week out very simple cool 